Wiki Kasarani area and the situation here paints a grim picture of the water rationing that has eight major estates in the city. Residents have had to depend on this stream to get the precious commodity. They do not bother about the state or quality of the water they are fetching. After all, you can't survive without it. For the past one month, the residents here have been surviving on this water. They say since the water rationing measures took effect, life has been hard. <laughs> Kuna <laughs> The source of this water is not known, a situation that exposes the residents to waterborne diseases. The water rationing in Nairobi city has been attributed to drastic drop in water levels at the Ndakaini Dam, which supplies 85% of the city's water. The water rationing is expected to continue until the onset of long rains in March or April. <laughs> wako na mitungi mahari hapa wakishota imaji tunaomba serikali tafadhalini mtu na maji mawili ili tupate kuwa na maji masafi maana ikisiwa sio kisewa kisafi vile hata ukitazama pale unaona kuna shafu na kuna mavitu kuna mamia na kuna fubi bado iko pale tufikirie ni mambo mazuri serikali mweze kutuonekania sababu shida tuko nayo and for the Mwiki residents, it's survival for the fittest until then. With water rationing hitting major estates in Nairobi, residents of Mwiki Red Soil have been forced to depend on this water, which they call stream of life. There's is a call for the government to act to restore water. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel 1 Mwiki, Nairobi.